I had a Mongolian. Give me a second. You're now rocking with the girl LC. Oh LC. A million views? LC. With, with, with the big boobies. I like her boobies. LC. You, you, you guys are crazy. Welcome to the world. GoodLifeMiami.com. It's the home team, the movement. Support it. I'm ready, Ice Cold. Drop it. Drop it. So I've. I always make videos about topics that you guys give me and I always try to make sure that my topics are strong and, and topics that a lot of you know the majority of you could relate to and I've been trying to make this video since 2008 but because it hits so close to home I've never really been able to make it um I just got off Skype with a really good friend of mine oh my god nobody tells me my boobs out on. I just got off Skype with a really uh, awesome friend of mine um, by the way, his information to his YouTube and his Twitter is in the description box, so you need to hit him up ASAP. He's awesome. He's a, a motivational, a life coach. Just kidding, he's a life coach. And we had an awesome conversation, which inspired me to make this video. Um, a while ago, I made a video about my dad not being part of my life, and everybody's always asking me why I have such a grudge against him. So today, I am actually going to... To tell you guys why it is so hard for me to just make amends with him. Um, I remember being about six or seven years old. And that's the last time that I, you know, the last memory that I really have of him. The last memory that matters to me. Being six or seven years old and, and going to visit my dad. And he had, I guess, his girlfriend at the, at the time at his place. And... He basically shut the door in our faces and, and let made it seem like we were like selling. You know how like the people who knock on your door to sell things? He basically was like, oh, we're not interested in buying anything. And just closed the door. And I remember grabbing, I remember that I was standing to the left and my mom was standing to the right because she was holding my right hand. And I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget what we were wearing. I won't forget anything about that day. I remember holding my mom's hand and when I looked to my right, I told her, don't bring me back anymore. And my mom never took me back. Now, everything after that, you know, everything that day that happened after that day is just a blur to me because nothing really mattered after that point. Um, but, you know, for being a child that's six years old, six, seven years old and, and, and making such a strong decision... I definitely had to have it in me that I really wanted nothing to do with this person anymore. And I remember being a little girl growing up watching my mom struggle to bring me and my brother up. And that kind of just built this anger inside of me. I don't even think it was the fact that I had no connection with him. It was just watching the struggle and, and, and the things that we had to go through. You know, I wasn't always the person that I am today. I had to you know, struggle a lot. You know, we were homeless at some point. You know, some days there really was nothing to eat. There were days that we would eat good, but my mom wasn't eating. And, and, and being little, I would not understand why. I always thought it was just like, you know what? She doesn't want to eat, and that's that. But today I'm 22 years old, and I have a 4-year-old child who is going through the exact same thing that I went through. Okay? Um, I see myself playing mom and dad. I don't think I have it as bad as my mom did because my mom was raising two kids, you know. So my mom never had time to help with homework. My mom never had time to to, um, to read us a bedtime story. And even when she didn't have the time, she still tried her best to do it. She still gave me the best childhood that she could provide for me. And I'm thankful for that because she built, I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to be half the woman that she is, but she built an amazing person. She let me, you know, she always made sure to talk good about my dad. And she always made sure that I understood that people make mistakes and people get second chances. Do I give second chances? No. <laughs> Is it easy for me to forgive? No, it's not. Do I always forgive when I say, yes, I forgive you? No, I don't. And if I do forgive you, will I forget? Definitely not. But... I am here today because I've decided that I'm 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 gonna um, take the first step to make things better with him. I'm gonna take the first step to to I guess try to fix it. And the reason why I'm I want to do this is only because forgiveness is very important if I want to 
get somewhere in life, if I want to push forward. As long as you're roaming around the world with anger, you're not going to get anywhere. And listen to me when I say this. This is very true. Don't ever give people that much power because those who anger you own you. Um... Another reason why I guess I wanna I wanna make things better with my father is because he's ill and and I feel like I don't wanna wait till things till it's too late to 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 make things right. You know, my cousin just passed away and it kinda just hit me so hard. It was so fast. One day he's here and the next day I we get the phone call like he's dead. He drowned and, and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, seeing him dead and knowing that there's no way that I could wake him up kind of made me realize, wow, you know, death is for real. There's no coming back. There's, there's, there's nothing after this. I'm not gonna see this person after today. I'm not gonna hear this voice anymore. And um, I don't really remember my dad's voice, so it's not like it's not like I would miss things about him. But I want to make sure that that I that I I'm right by him and that. And that I, in my heart, I know that when, when, you know, he does pass away, we had a chance to speak, to at least build a friendship. We may never have the bond of, you know, daddy and daughter, but I definitely want friendship there between us for my daughter's sake. And I pray to God that someday my daughter's father decides to be a part of his child's life. Um, I look at my daughter every day and I see what life is really about and I look at her and I see me as a little girl so I wonder like who would want to miss out on this my daughter does these things that just brighten up my life I could be sitting down and she'll randomly come and kiss my hand I took her to the movie theater last night and we were sitting we were standing in line to buy popcorn and she just grabbed my hand and kissed it and she said I love you mommy and it's those kind of moments that you see. This is how could anybody want to miss out on something like that? Something so genuine, real love. Children give real love. And and I'm sorry that he missed that with me. And I and I hope that it, it doesn't. You know, there's still time for her and her father to build that daddy daughter bond. So if you're watching this video and you could relate to anything I just said you have any grudges if you have any any anger towards your dad or your mom or whatever if your mom was a drug addict if your daddy wasn't there or whatever for whatever reason forgive don't forgive for them forgive them for you because it's healthy for you that anger that you're building up inside is not gonna get you anywhere and as long as you you know you're holding that grudge you're never gonna be able to truly love anybody or anything you know, especially when your anger is as big as mine is. Um, I have days where I can't even bear the thought of, of you know, talking to him. And, and I have memories all the time. I mean, seven days a week, I would say four times a week, I go back to that place. I go back to that moment, you know, and... It sucks. It's a horrible, horrible feeling to feel rejected by somebody that you love so much. Somebody that you consider an idol. You know, because being little, I thought my daddy was, you know, like, superhero or something. And my dad was, a, you know, as a cop, was in the army, so I used to always see him in a uniform. And I used to be like, oh my God, my daddy's, you know, he's a hero up until that day. And... I don't want any more years to go by without me making things better. And this video is getting way too long. So, like I say, don't let anybody convince you that whatever you want to do can't be done. And my friend Jay told me something very important. He told me that if you want to get ahead in life, you have to think like an airplane. Because in order for an airplane to reach its destination, it has to, ride, uh, it has to fly at the right altitude. So take your time. Take the right steps. Make the right moves. And take it easy. Keep pushing, keep getting forward. And as hard as it is, you need to just let go. Let go and let God. So this is the longest video Elsie's ever made. And I gotta go now. Bye, guys.